Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the text entry methods for the Verizon XV6900. Now, obviously, this device doesn't have a keyboard, so how do we enter data? Well, let's let's take a look. Let me zoom in on the screen a little bit. All right, I'm going to go into Word Mobile and show you the different keyboards that comes on this device. So I'm going to select New here at the bottom. And the first keyboard that I want to show you is just the standard Windows Mobile Professional keyboard. I call it the tap tap keyboard because, you know, you sit there tapping with your stylus and it takes forever to type <laughs> most words. Though you do have some, some assistance here. If you, uh, let me type the word assistance. You have the uh, kind of T9, XT9, which will provide some suggestions for you, but that really doesn't speed up the process very much, at least in my, in my use of the device. Let me show you the other keyboard. The other two keyboards are really meant to be used with your fingers. So here's what they call it, the touch keyboard, which is very similar to the shirt type keyboard found on the BlackBerry or the T-Mobile Shadow. Because this is a resistive touch screen, not capacitive, you have to press pretty hard on these buttons to get them to register. But I think with a little practice, you can get pretty quick. I've been working at this for a little bit, and let's see uh, if I can type something quickly. It's kind of, I'm kind of holding this in an awkward position. So let's see here. Let's see here. The quick round flock. fox. Yeah, there we go. Let me finish that sentence. Jumped over the lazy. And I want you to notice how small this space bar is. So I'm typing along pretty quickly with two thumbs. And let's see how it did. Jumped over the lazy. I uh, got it almost right, except for the word the. And it's really hard to narrow in on that small space bar. It's kind of difficult. But in time, I'm sure you'll get used to it. Now let me show you the other one, which I like a lot more. If you've ever used the TouchPal keyboard, you'll recognize this immediately. It's called the Touch Keyboard instead of the... Oh, excuse me, the Touch Keypad instead of the Touch Keyboard. And it's basically like T9. So this is made for use with just your thumb, and I find it to be much quicker. So let, let me try that again. And of course you have to be good at T9 to be able to, to get this to go fast. Okay, the quick... Uh, you can tell that I don't use T9 very much. But the fact that these buttons are much larger makes it much easier to type on. Although, look at this spacebar. It's even smaller than the spacebar on the 20 key sh uh, short type keyboard that we were looking at earlier. But my advice is, if you're going to get this device, or if you have an HTC Touch or something that has an on-screen keyboard like this, and the HTC Touch Diamond will have similar keyboards than the ones you just saw, I would stick with one of the keyboards and get used to it, and use it over time, and, and eventually you'll be able to use it just as fast as you would uh, possibly a hardware keyboard, if not a standard T9 number pad on a regular phone. So those are the keyboards on the... Verizon XV6900. Now I want to show you some settings that will make the text entry more accurate. So if we go to options here by selecting the keyboard down there, let me close the keyboard so we get the full screen. I'm going to click on options. We can select the keyboard here. I'm going to click on options and here we have XT9 settings. So click on there. Now by default spell correction is turned off. I'm not sure why. Uh, when I'm typing along, typing, typing a quick text message, I often misspell words, so you definitely want to turn that on. And then I turned off word completion, because that was fouling me up a few times when I was meaning to spell a word and the, uh, the device that I was trying to spell something else, so I turned that off. And that increased the accuracy quite significantly. And you only have to change the setting once, it actually reflects in the touch keyboard as when you change it in the touch keypad, and let me just show you that, so spell correction on, word completion off. So those two things will help you type faster and with more accuracy. So that's it.